Hi and welcome to this session shift of mindset from waterfall to adaptive approach why there is a need of shift of mindset from waterfall to adaptive life cycle in our last example we have seen that when we try to construct uh, an application like e-commerce application using waterfall model you will not be able to deliver the product with all the required functionality in one go and you might not be able to meet all the customers expectations and there are certain challenges you might face if you try to apply waterfall model to such project so for these kind of projects instead of going with linear sequential model we will have to think of adopting agile life cycle or adaptive life cycle in which you will be taking a small set of requirements and you will be constructing those requirements and you will be reviewing testing and you will be involving customer to review that part of the product so that way you will be carrying out development in multiple iterations and in each of the iteration you will be developing a small part of your product and you will be involving customer throughout your project life cycle and you will be creating a collaborative environment in which all your teams will be collaborating even your customer will be collaborating with you and uh, the customer will be providing you all the feedback on the increments or the small part of product that you are creating in each of the iteration so this way you will be able to achieve success in your project and you will be able to deliver your project successfully on time under budget and with least or minimal risks and the quality of product will be very high because you have involved your customer throughout your project life cycle and customer is well aware of what all functionalities your team is building in the product now that we have understood the need for shift of mindset to adaptive approach now let us understand what all challenges the industry is facing or the teams are facing when the requirements are unclear so the challenges are unclear purpose or vision for the team the team might not be aware of the final goal unclear project context unclear requirements team is not sure about the requirements even the customer is not sure about the end functionality that he is going to receive there is no autonomy to the team the project manager only decides what needs to be done and he only assigns all the work to the team so the team is not having any autonomy to make any decisions with regard to any of the aspects of the project and you might develop a product with issues or defects if you are not sure about the requirements you might end up with inaccurate estimation and unrealistic estimates and you might have to get your team to work more or overtime or in the weekends which will not be the correct practice in a project team will struggle with obstacles if team is struggling with the obstacles they might not be able to understand if there is any solution around if they work in siloed manner and if they work in collaborative manner they will be able to understand if there is any solution already available slow or no improvement in processes whatever processes you carry out in predictive life cycle or waterfall model we are not improving those processes very frequently teams working in silos teams when they work in silos it is possible that they might not be able to deliver a product which meets all the requirements there might be a possibility that your team will have to do some rework inefficient ordering of requirements or features 
if you are not prioritizing the, your requirements or features through your project life cycle then it will cause inefficiency wasted efforts wasted time money resources failing to perform within project constraints which means you will not be able to deliver your project within the uh, scheduled time you will not be able to deliver your product under budget no control over project complexity you will not be able to understand how complex your project is and you might not be able to develop and explore and develop that kind of required functionality in the project or the product that you develop poor customer experience customer might not be happy with the end product increased risks risks of cost and uh, even the loss of business and low team morale so these kind of issues you will be facing if your requirements are not clear if your project is very complex and your project was not done before and it is something which you are doing it for the first time or you are trying to solve some problem of your customer so these are the challenges that industries or teams are facing 